Alright, good morning guys. 10.18 p.m. on day 470. Why do I keep saying 400? 676. I'm writing off 200 days there. 676. It's uh, 63 degrees and it was raining a minute ago. Now it's not. There's a huge storm system over Detroit, Michigan approaching Toledo and Cleveland and we'll probably get hit with a little something down here 30 miles south of Cleveland. But um, other than that, it's Thursday, which is generally my long day, and I don't know how today's going to turn out, but we'll, we'll see with time. My uh, class that I only have on Thursdays that makes Thursday a long day has been canceled today. Uh, she's out of town somewhere. So I don't have that class, but there's a project that I'm working with a few other guys in that class that's due like November 15th or 18th or something like that and um, we've been talking through email and stuff and they might want to work on that today during what we would usually have that class. So that means it could go longer, it could go shorter, or it may not even happen. I need to send them a text and see if that's actually on when and where today. So I, I don't know those plans, but other than that I have that exam that I studied for last night a little bit today. That's at uh, 12, right? 12, 15? 12, 30. And it's 47 questions, so I'm hoping I can get out of there. Of course, I'm not going to rush through it just to get out of there, but usually exam means you do your exam. When you're done, you get up, turn it in, walk out. And I hope that's the case. Then it won't take the full hour and 15 minutes that the, the class is allotted for, but it'll likely be shorter than that, which is nice. Not that I'm dying to get out of there because there's so much stuff to do. There isn't. Um, you can't even tell I did those leaves yesterday, though. It looks like hell. So. I'm not going to do that every day. I can't do that every day. There's one yard that needs to be done. That might get done. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. 62 degrees. It's dropping and it's going to rain. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I spy North Carolina plates up here. And that's something that's actually really common here in Kent. Um, you can't really be here at the university and not see plates from obviously Ohio, but Pennsylvania, New York, Michigan, um, Illinois, Indiana, all of the states around here are represented by not even just one car that I routinely see, but multiple cars, every time it's different. West Virginia, Virginia, uh, Maryland, there's plenty of Maryland plates, Cold. Even Florida, I've seen Florida and California plates here. I don't know why there's people here from all over the country. There's New York plates on that pickup truck. Um, there's South, I think it said South Dakota, but really? I don't know if there's South Dakota plates around here. Anyways, it's weird. There's people here from all over the place. As I sit here in traffic, I just saw a car with Massachusetts plates and Rhode Island. Don't know if I've ever seen a Rhode Island plate before. I remember talking about that before, so maybe I have. There's two more states represented here at Kent. Looks like they've uh, opened up this area over here and are getting ready for the big ceremonial uh, opening of everything new that they've been working on. When it's really open and we get a nice day, I'll go over there and give you a little tour. <laughs> That's right. This is what we listen to when we're exporting unboxing videos for New Trent. Does anybody know this song? Have you ever heard it before? And how much do you hate it? I am probably the only 18 year old in the world that has that kind of crap on his iPhone. Anyways, I actually filmed in here today because it's lighter and it gives me a cleaner background to work with. We just uh, opened this up on camera. It's the, the iZen Powerfolio iPad 2 slash 3 case. It's a 14,000 milliamp hour battery. That's 10 times the iPhone battery capacity. Yeah, 14,000. I know it's nuts. And that battery is actually pretty big and I can't even get the case out of here. The iPad's in it. Um, check out the Rhino's Tech channel, obviously, for all the specifics and the details and the full review later on. But uh, we got uh, it's actually kind of heavy. Uh, this would be very useful for traveling, though. iPad fits inside. It's a little uh, thing on the side here for the battery. That's where we plug in our connectors and whatnot. But all of that's going to be on the Tech channel. So stay tuned for the reviews and stuff. And and um, I never, I, I never really looked into this product a whole lot before it was sent to me. So I did, I, I had like a 10 minute unboxing video. I just cut down to I think four or five, six minutes. Um, and I tend to do like a half review in my unboxing videos. I don't know why. I just feel like I need to talk about what it does and how it works. But uh, my full, I'm trying to fold this knife up without cutting myself here. Um, I will have the full review up where we do the demo and specifically talk about how everything goes together. Oh, and check this out. Remember all that leaf work I did yesterday? Well, it got windy today. 
Son of a bitch. So I'm not cleaning that up again today. That'll happen in a month when I'm ready to do it. Um, that has five minutes on the export. I'll get that up. Um, it, it has to be approved by them first, so it'll probably be tonight or tomorrow before that is actually live on the channel. But I need to clean this up now and get something to eat because I'm very hungry. Thank you for those of you who wished me good luck on the exam yesterday. It wasn't too bad at all. 47 questions took me about a half hour. And no, I'm home now. It's uh, it's 2.30. And I didn't have to go meet those people about that project that we're doing with because I was the only guy who responded. So I guess we'll do that next Thursday. So that means it's 1, 2.30. I think I said 1.30. It's 2.30, I have the rest of the day open, so uh, it's raining, I can't do stuff outside. So that means stuff in here at the desk on the computer. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's 5.04 p.m. I guess I do consider that evening. For me, evening starts at five. Anyhow, uh, got that stuff done, got the video uploaded. It's not public yet. Um, and as Bobby pointed out, all of this right now is thanks to Bobby. I was going to put it off and wait till it pisses me off more, which is not what I need. Um, he noticed that my check display is lit there. See the, the pixels below the odometer, the, the trip calculator, and the temperature? Those are lit up. And that's because there's an issue with the check display. So press and hold that says check brake lights. Um, if I go back there, I, I put something on the brake pedal so it's held down. I actually shove a uh, toolbox down in my footwell to hold the brakes on. Then I go back there and look. The two brake lights on the sides work fine. It's the, I already told you this. It's the third brake light's dipped. So I looked at the socket and um, there's a bunch of corrosion on one of the one of the contacts. And that's obviously why it's not working. So I went on eBay and there's like 50 different ones. Some of them are $15 and, and $7 shipping. Some are $4 and $20 shipping. Uh, it's hard to find a new OEM one. So I thought, let's call Dave Walter. So I called good old Dave Walter BMW Aqua Ohio. And, uh, and they have one. They have one in Akron for $7.66 plus tax. Friggin' right. So I'm gonna go pick it up, put it in there, and that better fix my problems. I already have good bulbs, new bulbs that I haven't even used before. So I'm gonna go get that fixed now so I don't have to deal with my check display anymore. And uh, there's a meeting at Kent at seven o'clock, some aviation meeting that I might go to that could be interesting. It's 5.06, I'm gonna have a lot of free time in there, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know, I don't know, maybe I'll go. Uh, and if I do, I probably won't film it, so don't look forward to that. All right, that was very negative, but I'm excited to get this fixed, and, and if it doesn't work, then I'm gonna be pissed. Or if I put one of these bulbs in and it burns it up again, I'm gonna be pissed at that as well. Continuing the trend of odd music, beautiful skies. This time we have Marvin Gaye. Reminds me of that Reese's commercial from four years ago. Well, the sun was just out. We've got a big patch of blue sky and it's raining. Typical Ohio. Nonetheless, we're in Akron where the speed limit is 55. And as you can see, if we were going 55, even look, look at this. There he goes. We're going 70. And this guy in the fur tourist goes right around me. Well, that's not going to last. And that's where the bird belongs. The Akron Valley, I don't even know what it's called. There's a valley here that was made by glaciers a few years ago. It's now in fall colors. Yeah, it still looks like shit. The Buick Rendezvous is sporty. The Mercedes-Benz E-Class. I was downtown Akron here the other day and I, and I made a comment. I remember uh, how it was, I thought the buildings looked cleaner and I thought it was maybe just the sunlight. I'm now realizing I forgot my glasses. And uh, I thought the same thing today. So maybe they did something similar here like what they did at Kent State and uh, power washed the buildings. They power washed every single building with a big industrial grade pressure washer over the last few weeks. And they did a nice job. It, it really looks nice. Okay, we are here at the service department. I'm looking for notable vehicles, aside from this beautiful Lincoln now over here. We have uh, an X6, a new X6 with the smaller headlights, and an Active Hybrid 5. So that's the first Active Hybrid 5 I've ever seen. I've seen the 5 and the 3, or the 3 and the 7, rather. And uh, 135 in there, a bunch of X5s over here, a couple of 13s, and a new text message from somebody exciting. A beautiful new 3 Series in white. Looks really nice. And headlights, the, they white LEDs they're using now over the yellow ones. Shut up! Looks so much better. Ah, uh, yeah. Light is not on. I haven't driven it anywhere yet, but I just put the part in. It sent me back $8.16. $8.16. Would have cost twice that on eBay, including shipping. And I talked with the guys in there I know for a few minutes, and uh, the one guy just bought an E46 M3, so that's awesome. Um, and now I may or may not go to this meeting at Kent State 
I don't know. It's 5.52, so by the time I got there, it'd be like 6.30. Maybe I will. We'll see. Well, I guess there's something to like about Akron. You can drive downtown at 5.54 p.m. on a weekday and barely have any traffic. And I think it is the second or third biggest city in Ohio. I bet Cincinnati's second, so this is probably third. What am I thinking? Columbus. Cleveland, Columbus, Cincinnati, so this could be number four. I really don't know where I'm going to go home. Usually I go 59. Uh, but I'm going to go downtown and attempt to take Main Street, if I remember how to do that. It's been a while since I came this way. There's a lot of cool buildings over there, those big church and stuff. That was easy. It was the end of the road that I was on, South Main Street, which uh, they have a, a thing that you have to back in here. I don't quite understand why, but everybody backs in. And you'll never really see any nice cars in Akron, maybe a, an E90 or an A4 up there. But, I mean, this is downtown. This is downtown Akron at what should be rush hour, and there's nobody here. That's either the sign of, well, it's a sign of a failing city, that's what it is. There would be lock three where some stuff goes on that I haven't gone to in five years. Uh, and the Civic Theater. Anybody knows anything about Akron, you've probably heard of that. And my old bank, First Merit. Alright, seven after six approaching. Um, I don't really know what this is the border of. It's been that it goes from 55 to 65. Stowe. We're out of Cuyahoga Falls. We are now in Stowe as we go over or under Graham Road. So, uh, no lights, so I, I'm sure that has fixed the problem, which is good. I am sick of every time I start the car and turn it off, ding, check brake lights. So thanks, Bobby. Thanks for bitching about that today to me. I fixed it, and, and now I don't have to worry about that anymore. So, um... Being seven after six, I could choose to get off the highway here. Actually, I should have gotten off there if I were going to go to Kent. And um, right now, I think I am going to pursue the aviation road path, mark, way, trail, pursuit. I don't know. One of those words means what I want. Um, I think that's the path I'm going to go after. And it feels like it's a little early for me to start going to these meetings, which they have every few weeks. Um, regarding the aviation program, which is huge at Kent State, if you don't know. So I'm not going to go to this one. I want to get my hair cut. Um, and they close at, I think, 7 or 9 or something like that. So if I go to Kent, then I won't be able to get my hair cut. And if I get my hair cut, I won't be able to go to Kent. And I've got the next three and a half years ahead of me to go to these meetings. So I'll do those later, and uh, I'm, I'm going to go get the bush trimmed. I could make the titles for these vlogs so much worse than I do, guys. Don't give me crap for my two-hour blowjob. Haircut's done. How's that look? It certainly feels better and it'll be easier to maintain. I take showers weekly. Not quite. But, you know, Charles Trippy always brings this up. When he takes a shower for the first time after he's gotten a haircut, he uses like three times as much shampoo as he needs. And that's totally true. I do the same thing. Anyways, hair is dead. It's 632. I've got time to make it over to Kent, so why not? Let's go see what this is all about. It's the director of the Cuyahoga County regional airport or something speaking so I hope it's not too long I don't really want to be over there like two hours but I'll go listen to what he has to say it can't hurt can never know too much and I've got 20 minutes to get in that room so I'll give it a shot and uh, I'll talk to you guys a bit well guys check this out a Laguna Seca blue E46 M3 what a beautiful little girl car no what a beautiful car though it says king of hearts is license plate love that Really nice, best color, wise choice, bud. This place is weird at night. I'm not used to this. There's pretty much nobody here. Got a car over there. Just turned eight o'clock, so our meeting. Interesting guy uh, has a Bachelor of Science in uh, Aviation Management, which is currently what I'm enrolled in, so a little bit of insight with that was, was interesting. There's Bowman Hall. And it's cold out here. It's like 54 and I'm not wearing a jacket. So I'm gonna hustle back to the car and I'll talk to you guys later. That's pretty much the only building with any lights on. The building full of books and computers. And then I guess that's the, the front. All right guys, 12.03 uh, a.m. Catching up on some YouTube videos here from Casey LeVere. And uh, that is it for today. I apologize, it's kind of a long video. It's a decent Thursday. Did a lot of stuff today. Tomorrow's Friday. I uh, don't have a whole lot of plans, unfortunately, so I will talk to you guys then. Thanks for putting up with me for this one. Talk to you in 677. Good night.